Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about expressing one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. When you were in grade 5, you already learned about visualizing the ratio of two given numbers, identifying and writing equivalent ratios, expressing ratios in their simplest forms, and finding the missing term in a pair of equivalent ratios. So, as a review, what is a ratio? Yes, you are right. Ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities which can be written in colon, word, or fraction form. To have a clear understanding about the ratio, let's read this problem. In Ms. Mercado's grade 6 math class, there are 13 girls and 21 boys. Compare the number of girls to the number of boys. To compare, let us use the concept of ratio. Ratio is the comparison of two or more quantities. If there are 13 girls and 21 boys, we can say that 13 is to 21. Other ways to express such comparison is by writing them using a colon. 13 is to 21. Or writing them in fraction form. 13 is to 21. Even we write it in a fraction form, we read this as 13 is to 21. Therefore, comparing the number of girls to the number of boys can be expressed in three forms. 13 is to 21 in words. 13 is to 21 in colon form or 13 is to 21 in fraction form. How to express one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa? Let's consider the following examples. This is our first example. What is 16 out of 32 express as a fraction? So 16 out of 32 is equal to 16 is to 32. Then, don't forget to express your answer to simplest form by dividing both numerator and denominator by their GCF. So the GCF of 16 and 32 is equal to 16. So 16 divided by 16 is equal to 1. 32 divided by 16 is equal to 2. Therefore, the ratio is equal to 1 is to 2. Ratio must be expressed in simplest form, which means that the terms are relatively prime to each other, or the common factor of the ratio is 1. Another example. A class of 35 students has 15 boys. What is the ratio of boys to girls? So, how are we going to solve this problem? It is said that there are 35 students in the class and there are 15 boys. Then the question is, what is the ratio of boys to girls? We don't know yet how many girls are there in the class. So, for step 1, we are going to subtract 15 from 35. The difference, or the answer in subtraction, is the number of girls. Then for step 2, write the ratio of boys to girls. Then step 3, express your answer in simplest form. So let's solve. 35 minus 15, what is the answer? Yes, very good. The answer is equal to 20. And 20 is the number of girls in the class. So for step 2, we're going to write the ratio of boys to girls. So how many boys are there in the class? Alright, there are 15 boys. And how many girls are there in the class? Yes, you are right. 
there are 20 girls. Then, for step 3, express your answer in simplest form. So, how are we going to express our answer in simplest form? Alright, we're going to find the GCF of 15 and 20. So, what is the greatest common factor of 15 and 20? Fantastic! It is 5. So, we're going to divide both numerator and denominator by 5. So, let's divide. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. Therefore, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 4. Another example. What is the ratio of 8 days to 6 weeks in fraction form? So, in this example, we have two different units, days and weeks. So, first is we're going to convert 6 weeks to days. How many days are there in one week? Alright, there are 7 days in one week. So, we're going to convert 6 weeks to days. So, 6 times 7 is equal to 42 days. We need to convert because ratio is the comparison of two or more quantities with the same units. Next is we're going to write the ratio in fraction form. And lastly, express your answer in simplest form. So, we already convert 6 weeks to days. It is 42 days. Then, we're going to write the ratio. So, 8 days is to 42 days. Next is express your answer in simplest form. So, what is the GCF or the greatest common factor of 8 and 42? Yes, you are right. The greatest common factor of 8 and 42 is equal to 2. Then, we're going to divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 42 divided by 2 is equal to 21. We need to make sure that the two quantities have the same units. The ratio of two quantities has no unit of measure. Another example. Alexa can type 200 words in 10 minutes. How many words can she type per minute? To solve this problem, we're going to find the rate. So 200 words is to 10 minutes. To find the number of words per minute, we're going to divide 200 by 10. 200 divided by 10 is equal to 20 words per minute. Or we can write like this. 20 words per minute. In this example, we can't convert word to minute. So this is a rate. What is a rate? Rate is a comparison of two quantities but may have different units of measures and their ratio has a unit of measure. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With this, just because something is difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't try. It just means you should try harder. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.